This is Caillou Ninja News, or CNN for short, with your host, Caillou Ninja. Okay, so, welcome to Caillou Ninja News, or CNN for short. And don't forget, I am your host, Caillou Ninja, broadcasting my show at Caillou Ninja News Industries slash The Basement. And that, and this industries is real. And as, okay. So as you may be wondering, why do I have a new studio? You can see that because I had a new, I had a new filter screen right there, and and that was brought to you by Grandma, who's my producer, Grandma, Celia, who and who is, and and I and she, who's the greatest producer, Grandma Celia. Okay, guys, Memorial. The weekend is past us, and I hope you took some time to think about all the men and women that died for our freedom. I also know that lots of people went to the beach and were out and about. In my opinion, it's too early for that. But here's what we have to understand. Some people want to stay, wants the state to open. Some people are still planning to stay home. Some people are still scared of, about getting of getting the virus. Some people are happy to get back to work. Some people wear, will wear a mask for weeks. Okay. The point is, everyone is going to get through this in a different way. But just remember, we're all in this together. Okay, this is a new segment. It's called Caillou Asks a Question. Okay, time for our first interview. Care Autism Celebrity, Carrie Margro. Carrie um. Margro is an award winning professional speaker, best telling author, autism consultant. And to the HBO series Mrs. Fetcher that aired last fall. In his spare time, he hosts a Facebook page called The Special Community that now has 200,000 Facebook followers. His videos have been watched over 25 million times. And look, he's friends with my favorite actor, Kevin Hart. I love him. Hello, Carrie. So, I'm going to ask you a few questions, okay? Absolutely. So, do you, how much do you love Pokemon? So, you probably can't see it on my phone right now, but I am addicted to what well, I was addicted to Pokemon Go for a okay. little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, I was playing that for quite a little bit, but I grew up with Pokemon. Pokemon was one of my favorite TV shows to watch. I collected the cards. Uh, okay, so, in next question, what's your favorite color? What's my favorite color? So, I'm wearing a lot of blue today, so I'd probably say blue. Blue and purple are probably my two favorite colors in the world. Okay, so we're up to two questions left, and then this talk is over, okay? <laughs> but you could talk to me afterwards. It doesn't have to be okay, fun. Okay, so, <laughs> next question. <laughs> so, how, okay, how, how, what parents, what family members help you with your autism most? Oh, that's a great question. I think my mom and dad both collectively helped me a lot when I was growing up uh, mm -hmm. with autism. So I think okay. it's kind of a... Uh, 50-50. My mom absolutely helped me tremendously when I was really, really young. My dad, too. Both of them have become two of my biggest advocates in my life, and I wouldn't be who I am today without them. That's something to tell you. Yeah. What is, what is, what kind, what type of autism do you have? I have a type of autism called pervasive developmental disorder, not otherwise specified. It's kind of like in the middle of what we call a spectrum of autism. So growing up, I had challenges making friends, 
Sometimes I, I couldn't communicate as well as other kids in my classes, and I also had sensory challenges. My autism is, guess what? Biting my fingers. I, I, I do that too much also. It's yeah, I do. I, I bite my fingers every day. Oh man, we, we gotta help you with that. That's, that, that's not good to do. They, they have my, mom, my mom helps me a lot. They, each day she puts me a serum that tastes like yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. Right. My, my mom did the same thing when I was a kid. All the serums, all the serums, and they tasted disgusting. Oh, I, got, I need to ask you, okay. when did you became famous? When did I become famous? Uh, I don't think I'm famous, but uh, when when I started public speaking for the first time was nine years ago, and I've got to travel the globe to meet a lot of cool. I, I love the mug. Uh, <laughs> uh, a, a lot of cool places get to meet a lot of uh, politicians, a lot of celebrities. Um, so the past nine years, I've had the opportunity to do that, and it's been a lot of fun. It's it's always fun getting to travel to new places and get to meet new people. But one of the greatest things about getting being a little bit more well known is that I get to meet cool people like you guys. Carrie, amazing interview. I love it. It's kind of amazing talking to a and a lot a real like so real adult that has autism. That is very, very cool. Don't forget to watch the next episode this Friday and like and share this video that we made for all the people who is watching this. And, and see you at the next episode, okay? This is the end of the show, everybody. And don't forget to subscribe to youtube.com slash c slash slash Ninja. Bye-bye now and see you in the next week's episode.